They they didn't have our package. They told us it's probably at another building and they didn't know where. So now we gotta drive around trying to find the packages. All right, so what we got going on right now, um, I'm just going through and this is the wholesale rack. So it's actually uh, what we've been calling the planted tank rack. Now it's transitioning to the wholesale rack. I just went through and uh, vacuumed out uh, the bottoms of these tanks just because there was some build up. You can see a little bit still left right there. And I'm sorry about the the lines in the screen. I still need to get that filter for the light. Um, you can see this is what they look like from before. They just had that that coating of crap on them. And that's from down here, the fish uh, just get jetted up to the top and, and it just happens. And so I need to go through and do the top right now. And, uh, and out here is where we're gonna keep most of the reds, like the Sakuras, we ordered a bunch of them. Um, some black reallys, some red reallys, uh, a bunch of other stuff like that. I think we're keeping a bunch of oranges out here and stuff. And so, uh, so yeah, just need to vac all these tanks out, make sure they're, they're healthy, they're ready. And uh, we just got done testing them, all the ammonia and nitrates and all that were zero. And uh, so they're cycled, ready to go. Um, was checking the hardness of this water. We're between, um, like, most of them checked out around eight. And uh, some of them checked out, like this tank, because it has the goldfish, for whatever reason, the hardness in this system was uh, 16. And so that's pretty hard. Um, so it has something to do with the goldfish because that's the only difference between this system and those four, three. And all three of these ones tested the same. And so, uh, yeah, so maybe it's the plant load. I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I wish I did know. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna keep cleaning. I got Jeff here helping me. Um, Amanda's getting off work soon and she'll be here. So, uh, so it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get a lot done and we're going tomorrow to get the shrimp over. <laughs> Jeff's here working hard. We uh we just got the rack done, at least uh, this rack. You can see it's all. This one's got a little bit of crud on it. Most of them are pretty good. I mean, whatever's left over, the shrimp will pick at. You can only do your best. I could probably hit these ones again. But uh, yeah, so we're getting there. T minus 24 hours until we're acclimating shrimp, and so it's uh it's coming quick. This rack's really coming along. I need to drain that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's awesome. Check out how, how I jerry-rigged this. Or jury-rigged. I know somebody will try to correct me on my pronunciations. <laughs> I did that on purpose. But, uh, yep, so that's what I got. Oh, man. Check out my holy shoes, too. I'm going to get so mad at me when I wear these. My toe sticks out both sides. She's going to kill me for showing my camera. I don't care. All right, so we're gonna go back see what everyone's doing. Amanda's here after work. We're making some RO water. We got all the tanks pretty much filled up. Jeff's been working on that. And uh, Jeff just went around. He filled up all the tanks that weren't filled up, replaced the filters, um, got all the flow going on everything. And so, uh, so it's really coming along. Um, Amanda cleaned a little bit. Did some water changes. And uh, there's Amanda in her nursing gear. Um, yeah, so we're, we're really getting close. Like, everything's starting to look really good. And uh, super excited. So, shrimp order, here we Taking come. Taking a quick break. Amanda got us some food. Jeff's on his phone. Who are you talking to, your mom? My dad. Oh, your dad. Tell Big Mike I said hello. Dun, 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 dun. Actually, that's here comes the bride. <laughs> No, so we're about to crash on some food. Yeah. Alright, so me and Jeff up. are in here. We're working hard. We're getting a lot of things done. We got all the tanks set up. Uh, we had a little mishap. Some of these tanks we filled up with water up here, which I forgot was remineralized already. And then other ones we filled up with pure oil water. So we treat them as if they were all pure oil. And so like this tank and like six other ones end up having a TDS that was super, super high. Like see if we put a little X on it. So we had to go back through and do a water change on a tank that we just brand newly set up. So that sucked up a lot of time, but we're moving on, we got all that done. Uh, we still need to add Indian almond leaves and uh, Malaysian driftwood and stuff like that. Now I, we're just going through, clean this one, this one, this one. Um, this one's good, this one's good. And then we just got these two and these two left. And then we gotta set up these two up here. And uh, so, 
Amanda got us pizza. Oh, Amanda, Amanda's back. So we, uh, I gotta finish cleaning up in here. Amanda just walked in there. I might have had it. If you guys didn't see the last part of this video, it's because I had edited it out. Because Amanda just woke up. But, um, yeah. It's going good. We're, we're really getting close. We're so close to go getting this shrimp order. Um, we're leaving at 5 o'clock in the morning. So it's rolling around quick. Just super, super excited. So I'm going to clean up this stuff. We're going to finish the Taiwan B rack and then we are going to head out and get ready for tomorrow. All right. So currently it's about 11 o'clock. Me and Jeff, we're wrapping it up for the night. We're exhausted. Um, well, here's what we got. So we got three buckets of RO water that are remineralized uh, to the, to the GH and KH and TDS that um our wholesaler recommended for the shrimp and we're bringing these in case any bags are bad or anything's going wrong with them so that we can rebag them we got uh two dipping pours or specimen containers we got a whole bag of breather bags we got a bunch of floss to put inside for the shrimp to have something to hang on to and basically just preventatory <laughs> that's not even a word but i made it up it's so just cautionary. precautionary Jeff's here to keep me straight since Amanda isn't. Um, <laughs> so we're just being safe in case we do have to rebag anything. When you get 11,000 shrimp and there's good odds that one bag is going to go bad. So hopefully we can catch it in time and get it taken care of. And so uh, so we're actually going to clean out the van right now. It's my work van. We're cleaning it out so we have plenty of room. And then we're heading home. We're going to chill for a little bit, get some sleep. And then we are heading out at first thing in the morning. 5.30 a.m. I think we're leaving. It's going to be a long day, but it's going to be fun, so stay tuned. All right, what's going on, guys? I got to be quiet because the man is sleeping, and she warned us that if we woke her up, she would kill us. So try to be quiet. We got my man Jimmy here. Shishimi Sashimi Aquatics. <laughs> and I got my, my breakfast of champions. Check this out. Honey Nut Cheerios, biggest bowl I could find. In a popcorn? In a popcorn bowl. <laughs> so, we got Jeff in the bathroom, but I won't go. I'll leave him alone. Today's a big day. It's going to be a good day. And uh, we're going to get out of here. It's about 5.45, something like that. So we got like 15 minutes. Stop to get go. food at the side door deli. And uh, Jimmy... <laughs> 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 so we're in a hurry. We're running a little bit behind, a little bit behind slash late, called bait, and uh, it's all good. We got some cookies for the road. We're ready to go. How you feeling, Jeff? Pretty good. How much sleep did we get last night? I got about three hours. <laughs> I got a little bit more oh, than that. Geez. Thank you. Whoa, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, look at Jimmy. He's sitting back here in like a lawn chair, and uh. I had to hurry up and get over to get in here. Oops, I gotta unlock the door. And Jimmy like straight toppled backwards if I can find my keys. There they go. He uh <laughs> he went straight backwards. And so uh here you can see it. So there, there's Jimmy. He flew back like this. <laughs> Knocked the water over. Luckily it didn't spill. That would have been bad. And so uh the road this is trip. Good news. The package has cleared wildlife, uh, fish, or fish and wildlife, and so it's all good. No contaminants. We're safe. Uh, now we're just waiting for it to clear customs. And so you can see sashimi whiskey, the gym master. We got Jeff over here, and so uh, so we're we're looking good. I'm gonna get confirmation here in a little bit about customs, and uh, we'll be in good shape. Later, guys. Jeff. We're going to get the package we just got here. So we're literally going in to pick it up right now. Super excited, super nervous, but it's all gonna be all right, good. So we just went in, they, they didn't have our package. They told us it's probably at another building and they didn't know where. So now we gotta drive around trying to find the packages of shrimp, which is always fun. And so it was a build up let down and hopefully this is built up and find the shrimp so that's what we're hoping for
we're waiting. Check this out. We were wondering what's in this long package right here. It's so crazy. They got some crazy stuff going on. So hopefully our shrimp will be coming soon. That's the hope. We shall see. Got the packages, baby. Woo! How you feeling, Jimmy? Feeling good. Jeff? They look good. I'm ready. They look really good. Right. So we're uh, we're gonna go get some like food and unpackage them real quick. Make sure everybody's good, and then we'll be on the road. Sitting in the back of the van, getting ready to unbox everything. Um, we probably won't do our official unboxing here, but we want to make sure everything's alive and rebag it if we have to. And so we're gonna kind of make it a fun thing because it's been a stressful day. And we're gonna go through one box at a time. Everyone's gonna be able to unbox, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here's I'll my talk point to you. <laughs> we're all sitting on buckets. Thank God we brought three. <laughs> here's all the boxes. Seagrass, that's one of my old boxes. Anyway. All right, so we're back on the road again. Uh, all the shrimp were good. We went through most of the packaging. And uh, actually we only went through two out of the five, but everything was good that we checked on. Uh, so we just figured no point putting the shrimp through more stress if they're all good. And so we're rushing back now. We got like two more hours left on the trip. Um, I just took a nice little nap back here. Jimmy was sitting up. Or Jimmy was driving. Jeff was here. So now we got Jeff in the driver's seat. And uh, this is going to be a good trip. Really excited to get home. Amanda got everything ready for us. So it's going to be good. Let's hope for the best. The only thing that went wrong is uh, the green jades. They, uh, they had a few too many deaths in there, so we did a water change on them, and uh, they're doing a lot better, so. so that's good. So, super excited, couldn't be happier, really excited to show you guys the unboxing, and uh, we'll be back to the warehouse in about two hours. Officially made it back to the warehouse. Time to unpackage the shrimp, and get them in their new homes, and you guys get to see an unboxing video soon. There's Amanda. We got the shrimp here. We're just getting ready to start unboxing. Open the first box up, and uh, and it's time to get into it. Just a little stinky. Ah. 